Hello everyone, my name is John Melisondra and today I'm going to paint a commission painting. Um, this was commissioned by Richard Smith and I want to say thank you to Sebastian Kennernick for letting me use his photo. He is a good photographer, a wildlife photographer. He was traveling a long time in the jungle of Borneo to take the photo of the rear pygmy elephants. So I want to say thank you for this really great photographer for letting us use this wonderful photo. Okay, so before I'm going to start the tutorial, I'm going to introduce to you first the materials that I'm going to use. So I still be using limited colors in my palette, and I have here the titanium white, the hollow blue, the brilliant tide, the medium yellow, and the raw umber. So I'm, I'm I am using uh, limited colors because I want you to learn to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay, so okay, so and these are the possible brushes that I'm going to use. So I I will be using number 12 nylon flat brush long handle number 11 nylon flat brush a bristle flat brush long handle number 8 nylon flat brush long handle i also use this number 7 nylon flat brush short handle number 3 nylon flat brush short handle and i will be using this Zero line reverse for the details. You can also use one double zero and triple zeros. Um, these are just the possible brushes that I will be using in the in this painting or in this tutorial. And and I'm not sure if I'm gonna use all of it. And this is my canvas. It's um I'm not sure it's 16 by 22 inches. It has three colors of prime white acrylic. You can also use gesso I made myself. Actually, this is a big canvas. And also, we need water to thin the paint. And a water spray if ever you're gonna need to wet our canvas, and if it will be easier for us to blend the colors. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start now, and this will be very exciting because this is a commission painting, and it's also about elephants so I am not sure if I'm gonna give really a good justice for this one but I wanna say thank you for 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 uh, Sebastian Kinernick for letting me use this wonderful photo okay so start now and I'm going to spray first with water to our canvas so that it will be become wet and it will be easier for me to blend first I'm going to sketch and I'll be using this big number 8 flat brush long handle for the sketching and also this raw umber in white um, for the sketching or you can use paint gel if you want and I'm adding white to make it lighter so that it will be easier to cover with other paints or other colors since I'm using only the the um, basic colors or I'm not sure to call it a student with acrylics so I'm not using really professional acrylics here it will be because these acrylics have lesser pigments than those artist artist grades or professional grades okay so i think i'm gonna start sketching and i'm gonna put the elephant here in the center oh, well, there so here i'm gonna again i have put the head tail i still need to i still need to adjust to fill the frame or to fill my canvas there this is a big uh, this um, this is a mother elephant and also he it has a child elephant here in the jungle there Okay, so this is the first step, and it will be really tricky because we need to um, precisely 
get the uh, good sketching or drawing so that we can have a closer or um, an accurate result for our painting so we're gonna need to make it as close as, as possible I'm gonna do the head first I'm gonna put the eye here and the eye, another eye here. So here, this will be the nose, the very long nose of the elephant. There. And I think we need to do the face first before we proceed to the to the background so that we can have a precise um, even if not perfect if not that perfect we can have a good uh, details on our on the on the on the, uh, on, the on the object which is the elephant so we need to make it as good as possible. I don't know one is perfect, but actually, uh, as long as you know that you are you are wrong about that, then that will be good because you know how to correct that. Okay, so let's get into the sketch first. I think this elephant is about to attack <laughs> because of the form of this. Not really sure, but yeah, maybe because of the form of, of its um, ears. So maybe he's about to attack the the one photographing maybe <laughs> Sebastian. I'm not really sure. He is uh, this. This elephant is about to charge. We all know that elephants are territorial. But I'm not I'm totally sure. Okay. So here. Okay, so we, we need to, keep, to be a little careful with the sketch. So maybe I'll just um, to I'll just make this um, I'll just add the first coats here on the mother elephant so that I can have a better view if I'm doing good or not. Okay. So here I'll be using some. Parks. And pure umber because I'm going to I'm not really sure maybe I'm going to make it a little smaller smaller this part here. Okay. 
this is a try and error method guys so I'm not really sure if I am doing the best or if this is really close to what I am ske sketching or copying so hopefully this is close <laughs> close enough So maybe okay here. I'm gonna add some details on this here. This part should be dark. Might have really big um, foot feet. There. And of course the nose. It should be smaller than the on the tip. Actually, the third time I I, I paint an elephant. Okay. And the other. There. Sorry everyone, it's my dog is really noisy. <laughs> there. And the other ear will be this one. I think I am doing good on the proportion. Yes, maybe. When you are copying something, if it's a real portrait, so you really need to do your best to make it as close as possible. Yes, that's how you need to do it. Because, of course, it's a portrait. Especially when you are painting human portrait, so you need to make it as close as possible. So I'm gonna make this part dark. Using the raw umber. So we are just using the raw umber here. Everything is in the raw umber. There. And also here, I need to cover some. You can actually spray it with water to make it a little wet. If you're asking me if I use other medium than water, um, it's no. I only use water for the entire. Honestly, guys, um, I never use any medium, acrylic medium other than water. 
acrylic gels or something like that. I never used that anywhere, honestly. I actually um, challenge you to use only water so that um, I actually water is really hard to use as a medium when you are just beginner because it dries fast it makes acrylic dries fast so that's one reason that it's actually hard to use unlike using the paint retarder or acrylic retarder it will make the acrylic um, dry longer so and slower so it, that's actually good but it's not really that challenging so so we can actually i recommend using this one water only and water is cheap <laughs> compared to the retarder you do not need, need to pay about uh, on water on using water so that's why I recommend you using that okay I'm not really sure how long it will take me to finish the first coat Maybe it will take the entire episode. The entire. So I'm going to. I am going to. Um, divide this tutorial into many parts. So that. We can. Maybe just this entire week. That I'm going to upload every day. Maybe. I'm not sure. So maybe I, I, I need to upload it every day. Okay, so I think that will be a good sketch. And for me, it looks as exactly almost... Um, it's not perfect, of course. But I think I'm doing great. So here, I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna retouch a little. Something's wrong. Then the baby elephant. So we also need to sketch so the baby elephant will be the height of the baby elephant will be on this on the on the same level with the with the ear. So that's how you're gonna put create the proportion if you wanna paint. Um, if there are one more one or two or more than more than one object on your on your painting, so we need to to relate each object so the, 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 the PV elephant will be the height will be as the same of the same with the with the lowest part of the ear so we can uh, do it here so this will be the head so that's it that's how we're gonna you're gonna We're gonna base every object on your printing when you are copying um, from a reference. There. And this will be the the eyes here. Okay, so I think I'm going to, I am going to erase some parts of the painting, yeah. Okay. 
So this will be the year. So actually, if if um, you think that you are doing something wrong on your sketch, if it's not that precisely um, the same, that will be fine as long as the the proportion is um, almost similar to the to the one that you've copied. So we're gonna add some background tones here. in here the feet so I'm gonna darken this part That's it, so we just have to retouch that. So maybe I'm going to retouch a little here. There. Okay. So. That will be the first step. Yes. Then we're going to cover the entire area with the paints, the background colors. Okay, so we're going to start adding the background colors. And I'm going to use a bigger brush. It is the number 12 nylon flat brush. We need to wet the brush into the water. Then we're going to need some dark colors. So here, the raw umber. Then we're gonna need some greens. So I'm gonna need some blue, yellow, and of course red. Red will make the color darker. If ever we're gonna need to spray it with water, it will be good. Remember everyone that this is still the base background color, so we need to fill this up with a uh, with the green color. Need to add some dark. And make it as solid as possible. So I'm gonna mix another greens with some red. Red will make the color darker.
Okay, everyone. So we have now the first coat or the background on the under or the underpainting. So I think I'm going to let it dry first, and I'm going to add details on the next episode, which is which will be which will be tomorrow. So I'm gonna we're gonna let it dry first before we're gonna add more details. But before we're gonna put, I'm gonna. So I think I'm gonna start here on the elephant. So. My advice to keep uh, so let it try first, and it will be easier for us to add the details. Okay, so I want to say thank you for watching this video today, and uh, I hope you get something out of this, even if just very short. And it is all, it is just all about um, adding the the under underpainting or the background colors. So. Again, I want to say thank you to Richard and Sebastian for giving me the opportunity to paint this one. Okay, everyone, so please hit like and some comment, subscribe for more videos in the future, and see you on the episode 2. Thank you, have a nice day, and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praise always belongs to the Lord. 